and 12 beta 2.1 is here for the redmi note 9 s redmi note 9 pro redmi note 9 pro max and poco m2 pro this is the new build updated build available for this device the previous build was also available like beta 2 and the thing is it's just android 12 that's why users were excited to use this but let me just tell you Unfortunately, you still not be able to use the full functionality and also alongside with that in my opinion in my recommendation I'll not recommend you to use this build because there are some glitches everywhere Some lags and a lot more things, but yes still people want to use this build on their devices It's just up to them, but in my opinion I'll not recommend you to use this build on your device Why so let me just move on to settings once and let me show you if you if you're able to see you still see some little bit of frame drops some kind of lags everywhere i'm not sure some people were saying that this is quite fast but in my case it's not fast at all it has a lot of lags and it's not good at all for daily use i was using for more than some five to six hours for some days uh, some time basically it was not good at all the battery usage level is now changed as you can see in the default android 11 or other android 11 based custom rooms you don't have this kind of battery stats so in android 12 beta 2.1 or i'm not sure even it was available in beta 2 these battery uses things are changed the graph is looking a little bit different but it looks quite better but everything else features are quite same like in wallpapers and style if you move on to the wallpapers and styles you have some five six extra styles options available for you which you can apply on your device without having any issues and also if you move on to the wallpapers and styles option you have the option of choosing these live wallpapers on your devices looks quite good by the way let me just turn on my wi-fi connection also in this wi-fi connection little bit different here if you move on to the settings option you have this new ui and honestly speaking i was it is actually not a user friendly ui especially at the first time whenever you're using android 12 it is a little bit complicated someone don't know where is the mobile data connection showing and where is wi-fi you need to click and hold there to come and a lot more different things out there but it's just up to them and also let me just tell you one more thing if you move on to this wallpaper section for example if i try to apply this wallpaper on my device go click home screen and lock screen the ui will be changed if you don't know in android 12 we have the material ui so the wallpaper alongside with the wallpaper the quick setting tile colors as you can see this is in colors and everything will be changed even those settings background will also be changed you have this new power menu in the quick setting style as a very interesting thing by the way in the quick setting tiles you have the option of this you can also you can also check out this power menu by pressing the power menu but this is the option available here alongside with that if you move on to edit these set these quick setting styles how you can get that simply move on here let me just show you by going to this edit option you also have the option of choosing the camera access and mic access style so simply just move on here let me just show you what these styles will do for you for example if i block this thing and uh, now on any kind of app will not be able to access my camera and mic in the background but if i go and open the camera it will ask me to unblock this thing and yes if i click here it will not ask me any kind of privacy any kind of anything so no privacy but only privacy is in background no apps will be able to access your camera and microphone but else things are pretty same if you open any kind of app like this camera and recorder let me just show you by going into other more things as you can see now this camera access is available when i just accepted that but if you move on to the recorder section where we have already disabled that kind of thing get started and just let me just do all these settings here if i go here it will ask me to unblock the device microphone if i unblock this it will be unblocked for all the apps which is very very unacceptable but yes of course this is android and in android related things we can expect these things because this is not iphone in the terms of privacy that's just great but yes this is all from today's short and simple video regarding android 12 beta 2.1 and if you want to still want to install this build on your device keeping in mind that it's still not good for the daily use you can install it because the link is in the description you simply need to install it like other custom rooms and nothing else nothing is complicated if you want to install this link is in the description this is all thanks for watching don't forget to like and share this video if you're new here goodbye have a nice day
over the edge Feel like I'm floating through the air 